Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge. And today is day 57. So first of all, thank you for your patience as I took a short break from recording and posting videos while I hit the road traveling to all of my local market centers. But we're going to finish out the 66 Day Challenge 7.0 with several new updates that have happened to Command, the Command app, even Command MC. And today we're going to start off by showing you one, four widgets that have happened on our home screen and two, the new sign in page. So you can see the new sign in page here. This isn't a major deal. And yet just to kind of let you know, if you haven't logged into command recently, uh, this don't be afraid if this is the screen you see, because this is our new login screen. So we're going to go ahead and log into our demo account with all of our fake contacts in it. And on the home screen, you're gonna see four brand new widgets here at the very top. The Keller Williams team is really making it even easier to do lead generation, lead conversion using these four widgets. And so walking you through them, the first one is a widget for leads that have come into your system that you have not yet contacted. So a lot of times those leads might be um, if you're running ads inside of campaigns for Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, and you haven't actually reached out or logged in activity with those leads, this would be a filter that you could click and it would then take you to your contacts applet and show you just the leads that you had not yet made contact with. Since this is our demo account, we don't have any leads coming in. This would come back without any actual activity, but we can go into the recently active filter this is one of my favorite. I loved using this and still love using this on the command app. I'm very glad to see this transition over into desktop. So if we click on recently active, you can see now it basically takes us into the contacts applet and it's now going to order our contacts with regards to the recently active column. So you can see here, this is a column that you can choose to view inside of your KW command contact applet. If you don't have recently active selective, I highly recommend that that be one of the columns that you select. And then what it's doing is it's basically ordering our contacts by the one that has been most recently active. So you can see if we go into our fake contact here, old Pete Maverick Mitchell, open up his contact record. You can see he is the one who is most recently engaged with our monthly neighborhood nurture or he's viewed some collection. Uh, we've even gotten some feedback here. So this is one of the four new applet or new contact filters essentially on our home screen. Um, this is one I would recommend that you come in and check every single day who has been active, who's been engaging with the content that you've sent out. Probably the most likely one that you want to follow up with. The third filter we have is birthdays. So we can click on this filter. Basically, this again takes us into the contacts applet and then reorders or shows us what contacts that we have with birthdays that are coming up. So you can see we've got three fake contacts here inside of our contacts applet and we've got a birthday for Sheldon Cooper happening February 26th. So that's uh, later this week, maybe first of next. Uh, old Monica Geller's got one having March 1st and Marge Simpson, March 19th. So all of our fake characters where we put dates of birth in, you can see those are coming up. The final filter is for home anniversaries. So again, when you're logging somebody's anniversary that you've worked with, when they've purchased a new home, you could click on the anniversaries filter and it would show you all your contacts in order by the home anniversaries. Now, again, we don't have any home anniversaries put in our fake contacts. So our filter is coming back with zero contacts available. Um, but had you had home anniversaries, this would be a great way for you to kind of keep up to date with who's got one coming up later this week and later this month. So that's the first of several more updates that we're going to cover here on our final days of the 66 day challenge 7.0, uh, the new home screen, and then the four new contact widgets or filters that have been added to your home screen when you log into command. Um, once again, recently active, probably the most powerful one in my mind, really helps you with that lead conversion issue, knowing who's already engaging with your content such that you can call and follow up on that as well. That's it for today, guys. Stay tuned for another video tomorrow where we cover the next most recent filter to our home screen or widget. That's just a little teaser. As always, great talking to you. I look forward to talking to you again real soon.